Yeah, yeah. Hala, hala. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Feel it, feel it, feel it. I've been grinding, I've been grinding. Big grind. Boy, Hey everybody, you're now tuned into Road to Pro Jaylen. Day MDH Fitness Style. Two laps. <laughs> Cut that up, what's up? Cut that up. What up, Josh? Get your hands, bro. Boom, boom, boom. Finish through the middle. Alright, here we go. It's a race. Compete. Uh, went to a program that wasn't really great. Uh, decided to get out of North Carolina AT, decided to go out west to California. Uh, a junior college was a two-year. I uh, did my two years there. Um, I had D1 offers, but my eligibility was uh, all gone, so I chose the number one D2, which is Valdosta State. Uh, we finished this year. Uh, we went third round of playoffs, and then we lost, but we had a good season. Top defense. Keep your hand off the ground. Keep your hand off the ground. <laughs> Keep your hand off the ground. If you do it, they're not gonna accept it. They're gonna have to. They're gonna say redo it. Ten, nine, eight. Oh shit! We finished. Makaya. Oh, you two. Are you doing the shuttle for pro day? You can't put your hand on the ground. Uh, so don't practice it here. Right. Ten push up, pull it, clap it. It's just a grind right now. <laughs> Every day, no taking days off. Come on, knock them out, knock them out. Every, every minute counts right now. Everybody working for the same thing. So you gotta find a way to, to outdo the next person. So every every second, every minute, every day, you gotta wake up, find something to do, something better than somebody else. Obviously. So we're gonna be here, 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 boom. That's how we're gonna start it off. All right? I'm not gonna talk about it now, but just to get your mind wrapped around it. All right? Five. Boy, Dylan, take him through the uh, warm-up drills. Tony, two laps. Oh, no, he ain't got to put me on that. Nah, yeah, you got to be. I don't need no <laughs> Everybody on it, man. It's good. Good, good, Tony. Good, Tony. Good, good. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Hello. But you want all of them. Well, I want three of them. Oh, no. You, no, 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 no. <coughs> hey, you heard it? You heard it? Uh -huh. Man, I'm feeling real good, man. I mean, it don't really get better than somebody who actually played college football. So, Dez know what it take. I mean, I worked out of Florida for three days. And, I mean, I feel about as good as I ever felt. So. I love working out with him. I mean, he's been my boy for a long time, so for me to put my trust in him is a good thing. Word, word. So as far as the things that you feel like you need to work on most or where you need to excel to, like, to make sure that you have the best shot at the NFL? Uh, so when I first texted him, that's the first question he asked me. That's how I knew he was ready to work me out. Yeah. Alright, this is what we got. Back, back, TC. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Here we go, Dylan. Three! Won't take no loss. Won't take days off. We go so hard until we fall. Won't take no loss. Won't take days off. We go so hard. So if you guys get a chance want to do the combine part of it, I know it's 707 at the end, but the first is combine. So regardless of I'm in. Whatever. I heard they got their military do some type of little dumbass work on that Friday. Nah, they gonna talk to you. 
Uh, I ain't fucking with it. I ain't trying to say fuck that. My stomach hurting or something. Uh, <laughs> they ain't got no workout. They really just trying to say that you wake up. Maybe see you. Let's try and do that. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Friday was real. That shit was real, bro. <laughs> Tired for that. Yeah, that's all I said. 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 Pulling, it, pulling yourself, opening up that stride, showing that you can do it. That's what we're going to end up on. We're going to start off with some resisted pulls, though, to get your knees driving in the right area again, going to drive them forward with some force. And then we're going to take that and switch it and go from resistance to assistance to open that stride up. So first, working on frequency. Then we're going to work on pull. Frequency is important because when you come out the gate, that first five to 10 yards is what's going to set the tone for a 40 yard dash. So we're going to work on that frequency, getting it out right now, being explosive. And then we'll switch it, okay? Okay, good. That's why I'm going to get a sound. Can't I get a sound? Can 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 um, but these guys are great. They come in humble, ready to work. It's one of the first groups I've had where they, they're, they're sponges, really. They're soaking up everything. They're willing to break the old habits they had and learn a new trait to get them where they need to be. So it's, it's been an experience getting those guys, getting to know guys that are out there like that. They're sponges willing to take up everything. And I think they're really going to do well in their, in, their, in their pro days and in combines that are coming up. So. I just want to make sure they're they're set. You know, they feel confident. So when they, when that combine day or pro day comes up, it, it's time just to go out and do what they're doing. They're not worried about what is my technique right or am I going to jump this. They just they got to perform. It's pulling you from a standing up position front. So but once you hit that angle, try to maintain that angle at least until you get within five yards. Okay. Yours look pretty good. I just want you to relax. You look like you're tense when you got down there. You know what I mean? You came up like. <laughs> you know, what I mean? get out of there. You can't force yourself to run fast. It's got to be a smooth movement. Uh -huh. Keep your hips on more of a flat line. Think more that way, okay? So you're still kind of loading here, up, right? Yeah. You want to load more when you go here. So you're pushing Pretty much, man. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, really only played a, a couple good years of football in high school. I, I finished off at Dudley High School, a uh, real championship program. Then I came to Winchester State. You know, we had a pretty pretty much a lot of a success over the over the the past five years at, at uh, Winston State. So um, <clears throat> last year, really had my, my breakout season. It was my senior season, my fifth one. Uh, made defensive player of the year. Had a, had a, a lot of accolades. So I feel as as far as now, I have a great shot. You know, and to play on the next level. So right now, I'm just trying to train. And I feel like I trust this program because I had a, a couple other uh, high school teammates that came over here and trained within uh, De uh, David Emerson and Keenan Allen. So I, I pretty much trust their judgment. I feel like they, they got to where they needed to be. So that's what I'm trying to get to. On the same level. Hey, greatest on three, greatest on three. One, two, three. Greatest. This is a playground full of moon swings. Die for the color of your shoe strings. Wish I had a different way to do things. You either had a rap book or had a hoop dream. From El Segundo to Sloss. Me and Nick from Young Boss. Yeah. Never take it. Yeah. They should yeah. kick our butt. So you know TJ and all that. TJ Thorpe, yeah, yeah, that's my boy. He's at UVA now. Was it UVA? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. ACC? Yeah. Why? He transferred. I mean, I know he transferred, yeah. but I just never knew where. He, uh, UVA. Are they gonna let him play? I think so. I mean, he's good, and and he just wasn't. I guess he wasn't fucking with the coaches at UNC. No, but you no, but you know when he came in, you remember Butch Davis? Yeah. He got recruited by Butch. Yeah. And then Butch got kicked up out of there. Yeah, that dude's wild, man. Which one, TJ or Butch? Butch. No, but I like Butch though. Crazy man, he was doing some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, but he wins though, yeah, and he, and, he, and he brings money to the institution, bro. Yeah. Which is what you want in a coach. Yeah, you just yeah, but he got caught though. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was doing that NFL type joint. Yeah, he was tripping. He, I mean, he had that's happening everywhere. He just got caught. I feel that man. Did you like Guilford? Dog man, I learned a lot, man. He just let me grow. I wasn't really. Uh, 
I stopped like caring about football really uh, my sophomore year. So like I just started learning stuff. I'm actually uh, pretty excited to train uh, one of my good friends, Matt James, for his upcoming pro day. Uh, I mean, as far as speed, uh, his wide receiver uh, techniques, and, and uh, getting ready for his drills uh, for pro day that, that he'll be executing. Uh, I mean, I just, I mean, being that I've been through that process and, and I've went actually went through it recently, I feel like I can give him great insight as far as what the scouts are looking for. Uh, and I can also help him become a better a better player uh, as far as yeah. developing yeah. his footwork, yeah. uh, his route running uh, capability, uh, as far as looking fluid, uh, running yeah. routes, as well as his footwork uh, while running routes too. So uh, that's something I'm excited to do. I mean, he's been a good, great friend of mine for about five, five or six years. Uh, and I'm just really excited to, to help him out and be, and be that resource to him here in the triad area. Stay low. Nose over your toes. All right. When you come off, same thing. When you come off, open the hip. All right. You might have to chop a little because your legs longer, but try not to chop. All right. I need all your I need all your routes in one step. All right. Off the ladder at least. All, all right. Chris, right. I know. I mean, be careful though, because you're on the ground plane. Yeah. Right. Step box yourself. Go. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Open up. Uh uh. Yes, sir. Be careful swinging that foot like that though. I ain't wanna slip from the bundy, right? Yeah. Cause you wouldn't like. Alright. I mean it look good. I mean it won't exaggerate like I just did, but let me just what, what should it look like? Nah, it look good. You did exactly what I said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is this, man? I don't know. <laughs> I got some long ass arms, I don't know what to fucking do with them. You don't run like that, right? Just run like you want. You use every day before before practice. In the southern? Yeah, southern. That's why y'all used to kick our butt. You used to beat the shit out of y'all. Man. Y'all don't know why I thought y'all was so good. Because we was like in our own little world, bro. Yeah, now he was telling me. These niggas were so terrible. They hated us too, bro. Isn't that where Mike Hunt went? Torrance. Torrance, yeah. Mike something. The dude uh, who's light skinned, he has a brother, he looks just like him. He's actually, I don't know. Oh, you talking, talking about Mike Brown? Oh, yeah, yeah Mike Brown. <laughs> Mike Brown. <laughs> nah, he went to the hillside. I'm loving that bird. <laughs> Where'd his brother go? I don't know where his brother went. Did he go to college? Well, that's Lil Cinco, right? Nah, Cinco. <laughs> All them good hair niggas related. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm gonna surprise a lot of people. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a local guy, I'm staying in the area, and um, I'm trying to use all my resources in Winston. Uh, AJ, so, uh, ex teammate of mine, uh, knows his stuff. And, um, I'm just glad that, that uh, he's, he's reached out to me and um, giving, giving me some of his time. Uh, some of the track coaches at Wake have said they'll work with me on my full time, my stances, and. Um, the weight room at uh, at Wake has been really, uh, right. really helpful, and they said they'll, they'll be uh, letting us use their facilities too. So it's gonna it's gonna be nice. So I saw you doing some of like the different uh, style like training. Like how's it like getting like it's day two, but you know what I'm saying things are a little shaky. But like how's it like working towards the technique? Like how are you feeling about it? You know it's frustrating just because like like as an athlete like you want to be the best and you want to like you're, everyone's a perfectionist. You wanna you wanna know your your shit's nice, but. Um, Right now, uh, I, I hadn't trained for something like this before, and um, I'm just going to take all the criticism and the coaching I can get so I could uh, run that time to, to catch the scouts. Oh ah, so. Four or five you trying to get, right? Uh, you know, anything in, in that uh, in that sub four or five, four, four, like high four four range would be would be great because um, I feel like that's something I could uh, like legitimately push out, so I'm excited. No loss, uh, won't take days off. Uh, we go so hard. Uh, until we fall, won't take no loss, won't take days off, we go so hard, until we fall. We're gonna go from a dead stop, so when you right here, keep that chest up, sit that butt back. You wanna sit in the middle of the box so you can get more pop more or less that elasticity. If you get, if you just boom, you're gonna hurt yourself. You gotta sit back into it. Dang, I'm gonna take this down one. <laughs> right here, and then take it down squeeze, one. yeah. Push those knees out. Week one of uh, Road to Pro Day. So what's your feeling on the process? Um, 
I think it's a good start. We're starting to see where guys are as far as their speed and agility and their weaknesses and strengths so we know what to work on. So I think it's a good framework for what we're going to do in the future. I'm excited about it. I see some potential and I'm looking forward to doing great things down the road. So um, what are your expectations for, um, you know, just this season? Like, what, what are you trying to get done out of, you know, having these guys here, having the support system for the guys already put in place? Um, what, are, what is the end goal for you? The end goal for me is all these guys want to get a shot at the NFL. So I want to put them in position to do that. Whatever that 40 is that they have to get at, I want to make sure their nutrition is on point. So they're at their lowest body fat so they could run faster. I want to make sure their technique is down. Um, and they're, they're at their optimal performance when pro day or um, combines come around. So my goal for them is that they get into an NFL camp to show what they have. Training JT has been a, a real experience for me. Um, as far as expectations for him, um, I really don't set any. I just try to uh, get him as prepared as possible for his upcoming events. And being that, you know, I was in the same situation a couple of years ago, it's exciting uh, to help these young athletes achieve the, their goals that they're trying to reach uh, via either pro day or uh, whatever it takes to get to the next level. You know, you can't stagger now. <laughs> There's two ways to do it. Stagger until they tell you. Yeah. you. So if we're going left, you know, stagger a little bit. So you go until if they say you go even, all right, then we go even. Your left hand got to be going down if you're going to the left, so we're here. Let me see how you do it first. We're just going to do the first time. Right I see Jimmy said low, big toe, big toe. see? He said what now? He said low, big toe. On which foot? This one. Okay. Right over here. And then. Y'all cross over? Okay. The thing with that is here, as soon as your hand come off, the clock goes. So if your hand here, and now you're going. Uh, so like a tenth of a second. You ain't even went nowhere. So here, you're right. Load this toe, but you're here. Alright. As soon as your hand come up, let your hand and foot move at the same time. Because as soon as you do this, clock going. So you want to load at the same time. So we're here. Because we touch, because we have to touch the code. So a lot of people get running that run, try to touch. We take a step past it so we can open up, swipe. You got to return one straight, one back. She don't want to be saved. coming out the track start and you push back and you're loading up it's the same thing so get in here like that and then load up right. so you're here and then push all your way so like you spring here and like you have to jump out i'm gonna tell y'all like my coach used to tell me if you aren't good enough you'll find a way to eat so whatever y'all got to do to get to where y'all want to go that's what you got to do let's get a prayer let's get up out of here Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to come out here we pray that we find a way Christ, protect us and love our family in Christ. Then we pray. Amen.